Silicon Valley is such a special place. It is an inspiring place. It is where miracles happen. What's wonderful about Silicon Valley is this sense of possibility. It's kind of the quintessential frontier of the U.S. Both Amy and I traveled a lot for business. These travel experiences, especially with hotels, they were executed very top-down in a very impersonal way. Uh, and we thought with the internet, you could get information and a dialogue with customers that would be very, very different. Traditional market research had a, a ways of coming in, you bring in a lot of consultants. There's a problem with this service-oriented approach in that, first off, they would take three months, they'd do a detailed analysis, and they'd tell you what was broken three months ago. Using technology, we're gonna get that feedback to the right person within the organization now. And that's how Medallia is different. We started out really as a complete bootstrap. You feel like you're on the brink every, every day and you can't take a vacation. We didn't pay ourselves. We needed people that we wanted to be, you know, like war buddies with and kind of go and fight this thing together. And I really um, spent a lot of time working on the business plan, doing a lot of market analysis. And Amy is fantastic with networking and finding resources. So she is, uh, she was out finding domain expertise, finding people in hospitality, finding people in automotive. And we did that all out of this, uh, you know, dentist office in downtown Palo Alto. We had our first meeting with a prospective hotel client and the day was September 10th. So we basically showed them a prototype of what we could do for them. Uh, we were intending to go out and get the funding. We came back and it was 9-11. So it was a pretty bleak beginning for a company that was in the technology space targeting hospitality to have both the bubble burst and 9-11 happen. The odds were kind of stacked against us. Hilton Hotels called us back and said, you know, they'd like to do the pilot. We eventually went live with a real product with Hilton in January 2003. And then really word of mouth just started cascading from there. Medallia is their morning cup of coffee. They log in every day. They spend 10 minutes in it. With just one single login, they can go into a platform where they can see all the customer feedback uh, coming from all those different touch points. You can actually uh, make decisions quickly and act on it as, as the feedback comes in. And that's pretty powerful. One customer talked about the fact that when they launched Medallia, it was like a fire hose went off in the organization. Everybody was could not get enough of, of just seeing what customers were saying. When you think about what companies are, companies are people coming together to do collectively that what individuals cannot do alone. It's not just with our technology, it's not just with our best practices and our servicing, it's also with the people who come here. I think there are a lot of companies in the Valley that have great technology and have done enormously well in the last several years, but what makes me want to come in to work every day is a, is a people. If there's a questions that I don't know how to address, I know that there's somebody around the medallion that's smarter than me that could answer my questions and help resolve that problem. The positive culture is, is you know, I think what sets medallion apart. It's a place of ingenuity. It's a place where people like using their brains. It's a place where people challenge each other. It's impossible to rest on your laurels here. You have to step up and keep growing, and there's so many opportunities for it. Diversity really is the sort of the foundation for a healthy ecosystem, and that's what you've got here. And, and it doesn't matter where you're from, it doesn't even matter if you speak the language. It really matters if you can prove that you can do something, and people will let you try. We're really um, looking for people who have that spirit of possibility and that spirit of entrepreneurship because in the biggest challenge there's always lurking an opportunity. There's always an opening and to me that I get so excited about that. How are we going to find that opening? How are we going to turn that no into a yes? How are we going to do our part of changing our part of the world? Mm -hmm.